Hey folks, Aaron here with Arcto Campers, and I'm getting a little excited. I've just taken possession of my personal trailer, our newest edition, hooked up behind me. And unfortunately, it's February in Alberta, Canada, which means in order to get my fix in, we gotta do some winter camping. It's about minus 10 Celsius right now. Sorry, Americans, whatever that is in Fahrenheit, so I'll put it up on the bottom of the screen. And tonight we're expecting lows in the minus 15, minus 20 Celsius range, something like that. So um, we're going to see how the Arcto Campers G12 fares in some winter weather. Talk to you soon. All right, so we arrived at camp. And one of the first things I want to do is get the furnace turned on so we can get the interior nice and toasty. And our steps to do that are going to start off with the propane tank cabinet and get the propane turned on. So we house our propane tank in this uh, cabinet in the front left corner of the trailer. And so of course I'm going to turn on the valve for the propane tank. In my case, I have a 30 pound bottle. The more common one of course is the 20 pound bottle. Uh, but just something to note that a 30 pound does indeed fit. We can close that cabinet. It is vented so you don't really have to worry about fumes or anything when we do that for our CSA and NFPA certification. Uh, and then the rear left corner of the trailer is where the Truma Combi is housed. And we're going to go ahead and turn on our gas line. And then on the top of the Truma Combi, there is a toggle switch for turning the 12 volt ignition and power on for the Truma Combi, the furnace and hot water system. Note that the furnace and hot water tank run independently. So if you wanted to indeed uh, run both the furnace and the hot water tank at the same time. Of course you can do that. Uh, but if you wanted to maybe winterize your water lines, uh, put the antifreeze into the lines. And so you just want to run your furnace uh, separately. You can do that as well and not have to worry about, uh, turning the hot water tank on. So after we switch everything on, we're going to want to go inside and go to the Truma thermostat and turn on the furnace. So let's go ahead and do that. So first up here, let's turn on our lights so we can see what we're doing. And step in here, and here we have our Truma Combi thermostat. Um, just note, of course, it's not exactly 12 o'clock, that'd be too lucky, but uh, this resets itself every time you turn the power off into the trailer. So we're going to click the knob here. The first icon that's flashing is for the furnace. Select it, and then you can just select your temperature. So in our case, I mean, really, I just want to keep it above freezing. So we'll go 10 Celsius. I'm going to turn the fan on high, so we get a good flow of air coming in here. And we're done, and the furnace will fire up. All right, so after the furnace has been turned on, uh, I want to get the trailer all level and unhooked from my tow vehicle. And so what I use is I got this little level here, uh, and it's showing. I don't know if you can make that out, but you can see that the passenger side needs to come up a bit. And so why don't I just show you what I do that I found very convenient, is we have these leveling... Uh, blocks that you drive up on. It's a little wedge block. And so I'm going to shove it under the tire there and then fire up the tow vehicle and drag it up a little bit till I think this side's level. And then this piece will slide underneath to lock it in place. And we'll have the left and right leveling done. And then we'll continue on with unhooking the trailer and get it leveled up with the tongue jack. So I got the left right leveling all done. Unfortunately, that Wedge block didn't work, it was just sliding on the snow. Um, so, improvise. I just used some chunks of firewood, shoved on there, we got it. Almost perfectly level. I don't know if you can make that out, but that'll work for me. So next step, safety first, is block up the other wheels so they don't slide, or roll rather. So let's get those blocked up. We can use the wheel chocks and get those in there. From the trailer rolling and then next up is the tongue jack so we can come around the front and if you've never seen one of these before this is the arc xo 750 tongue jack and uh, i already put the handle on here these handles actually come off they're magnetic so note to self make sure you take it off before you start towing so i already had it put on and we basically just pull these handles it swings down locks in place and we can start putting a little pressure on it before we go ahead and start unhooking the tow vehicle. So we'll get the cable out of there, the safety chains. So now we have the safety chains undone and the emergency breakaway switch cable along with the seven pin um, 
electrical cable, we can now undo the max coupler. So we pull the pin and we can yank this guy out and that'll disconnect the trailer from the tow vehicle. And we can jack this guy up and disconnect it from my tow vehicle. The trailer is all level and stabilized. I put down this corner stabilizer. Sorry, I didn't show you that footage, but pretty straightforward. Um, now we'll just undo the latches on the roof. Also pretty straightforward. Get those all open. One per corner. This rear left corner is actually on the side of the trailer. And then we have this one at the rear portion of it. So the roof's unlatched. We can go inside and pop up the roof. You already feel it's a little warm in here from and now we got the front up and the back. Get a snap in. If I can do this with one hand while well, holding the camera. There we go. Snapped in. Can open some windows, let some light in, can unzip these canvas windows, maybe the uh, sun will heat up the interior a little bit more. There we go. So something to note with our trailers, which is an, op which is an optional upgrade, is our insulated and heated fresh water tank. Uh, because our fresh water tank sits uh, between the wheels below the floor on the exterior of the trailer, if you're gonna plan on doing any winter camping, it's always a good idea to upgrade uh, to the heated water tank. And I'll give you a quick. There you can see it's insulated and there's actually a 12 volt heating pad underneath it, as well as another heating element that's wrapped around the water pickup line that goes directly up to the uh, water pump. In order to turn on the heated water tank, I mean, I already have it on, but you can come over to the new Red Arc Red Vision display and you can make out here on the right side a little water droplet with a snowflake and that is the uh, hot water, sorry, the heated fresh water tank. And so we can just turn that on and off. It draws about five amps. I have the furnace running right now and the fridge is on, um, so it's drawing a little bit more, but generally it's about 5.1, 5.2 amps. And now we're all set. Everything's set up for camp. If you want to deploy the awning, of course, go ahead and do that. But I don't think uh, I'm going to do that just yet. Maybe this evening, if I set up the awning walls, we'll put a propane fire pit in here to keep warm. Otherwise, we have like a normal fire, sorry, wood burning fire pit, and we'll utilize that. So, talk to you soon. Good morning. I uh, just woke up and hopped out of the trailer. Stayed pretty warm last night. I think we were uh, minus 15 Celsius or so. And kept the trailer inside at 17, 18 Celsius, uh, so we were nice and cozy. Um, so first things first in the morning, getting up, making some coffee and some breakfast. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Uh, get into our pantry. For myself, I like doing my coffee on a jet boil because it's just a lot quicker. And uh, what are we gonna have? We're gonna have some bacon, eggs, and English muffins, and some cheddar, so like some egg sandwiches. And we'll make them obviously on the stove here. Got a griddle to put on there to cook everything. And uh, yeah. All right, let's head over to the fridge. We have a 75 liter, 12 volt fridge freezer. I just got a couple of items in here for the evening. What do we need here? Eggs, bacon, coffee creamer. Good enough. Let's go ahead and make some breakfast. All right, we're gonna let that boil. I like using the jet boil because it's just a lot faster than uh, attempting to cook something on the stove and uh, literally like a minute and a half two minutes you got boiling water this is the french press attachment so we'll put the coffee grounds in there and we'll get to have some french press coffee in the morning all right let's get some coffee in here 
I don't know, how many scoops? Four? Let's do, let's do four of these. Maybe five. Let's just do five. Let's make it strong. Give it a stir. And we'll let that sit for a little bit before we drop the plunger down. <clears throat> Got some bacon starting off. We'll crack some eggs right away. There we go. A couple eggs, some bacon. The English muffins toasting a little bit. And once the English muffins are off, we'll get some cheese on top. Sorry, this is kind of playing out like a Cooking with Aaron show, but just thought I'd show you how we cook breakfast in the morning here. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, so I'm all done breakfast. Finished packing up. Time to put the kitchen away and get the roof down, hook up the trailer to the tow vehicle, and start heading home. So the pack of the kitchen, as you can imagine, is pretty straightforward. We just have the push bar here, push down, and push the kitchen in. And uh, yeah, I guess I see it's furnace. Why don't we shut off the gas to the furnace? I already disconnected it or turned it off at the uh, thermostat. So we're gonna do the opposite of what we had done, which was get the gas turned off, the ignition switch up top here off, and then of course heading to the front left cabinet to turn off the gas supply at the top of the propane bottle. All right, so there it is. One night winter camping with my brand new Arcto Campus G12. Uh, panned out really well. We got to pretty low temperatures in the evening, minus 15 Celsius roughly, and the trailer stayed incredibly warm inside, so I'm real happy about it. Anyhow, so I just wanted to show you a real quick uh, trip that we do in the winter here. Uh, and as usual, if you have any questions, reach out to us via email, admin at arctocampers.com or through social media at Arcto Campers. Have a good day.